Dear Floor 10A of Celery, Your room really didn't need to look like a Better Homes and Gardens catalog, nor did your candles cover up the fact that you were smoking in your rooms. Sorry to disappoint. Hello, lovely to see you again, or if you're new, my name is Porva and it's great to meet you. This time on my humble little channel, I thought that it is the perfect season for college shopping. Whether it be online because of Rona or whether it be in store, safely wearing a mask, it is time to figure out what you need in order to spend your first year at college in a dorm. I know it can be really stressful when you don't know exactly what you're going to need because you can't obviously think of everything. Um, there are some no-brainer items that you use at home that you would never think to bring to college. But for the sake of time, I am not going to mention things like toothbrushes or pair brushes, super basic necessities, um, but everything that I can think of will be listed in the description below. I'll make a big old Google Docs checklist that you can check off when it's time to go to college. First off, you know to bring a phone charger, at least I hope you do, but have you thought about bringing a MacBook or an iPad charger? Disclaimer, this does not work for Androids. It might, I don't know how their chargers work. If they plug into the block, it'll probably work. But since the devices like an, a MacBook or an iPad are much bigger than um, an iPhone, they have more amps of charge, which means that in respect, they charge your phone faster, if you know what I mean. They'll save your life when you wake up with a dead phone. You can probably order these off of Best Buy, Amazon, anywhere that sells Apple products. Next, get a giant ass pitcher. Like, think Brita filter, but three times bigger. I drank a ton of water during the day and my room was at the very end of the hall, um, literally the furthest that you could be from the water fountain and I didn't want to go over there and fill up my water bottle every single day or four times a day because I drank four bottles of water. But due to this giant filter that I had, this giant pitcher, I just put it on my desk and I would only have to fill it up every few days. Uh, make sure that you don't get dehydrated because honestly that's like one of the basic things that could hurt your immune system. So make sure you're drinking enough water so get yourself that Brita filter. Now we can talk about lighting. Uh, even though this isn't really an important thing or an essential thing to bring to college, I don't know, maybe it might be for some people. Um, the lighting can really affect your mood at different times of the day. In my dorm especially, the lights were super fluorescent, bright, and kind of felt sterile like a hospital. And so me and my roommate bought these $5 Christmas Target like lights. I think it's like Home Essentials or something. And uh, we hung them up all around the edge of our room. And this created like a super warm toned, uh, it was almost like a having a sunset in your room but at all times of the day. It was really calming and it felt just like super homey. And I def so I definitely recommend if you want to go that route to get the Christmas lights or if you want to be able to change the colors, get a giant strip of LED lights. But I will warn you that, that could be really expensive. I'm sure you've heard about bringing Tupperware, but you should also think about bringing bag clips. I mean like the little clips that you put on your snack bags once you open them to put in the pantry. But what you can do is also put these in your backpack so they don't spill everywhere. Also, stale chips are a total drag and I would never want to waste the food that I'm buying with my or my parents' money and it's just, I, I don't like to waste food. So get yourself some bag clips. If you're big into exercising, maybe you're an athlete, or honestly, even in general, buy a foam roller or any type of body roller. Obviously, if you work out, it'll prevent sore muscles and help with like muscle regeneration, but if you spend all day studying, like in like that hunched position that you get when you start typing an essay for a bunch of hours, when I, I like you won't believe me, but it feels so good. It sounds like popcorn popping, and then you feel like a renewed person. If you're gonna pull an all-nighter, if you do this every few hours, I swear it'll help keep you up. And plus side, it will prevent back injuries in the future. So win-win in my book. Also, did I mention it feels like incredible? Please do yourself that favor. Next, let's run through a list of shoes you need. One of the biggest mistakes that college students make um, is bringing way too many shoes. If you're a sneakerhead, fine, like bring as many shoes as you want, but honestly, you're only gonna need regular sneakers, shower shoes, waterproof shoes like for snow or rain, 
um, sandals unless you're not a sandal sort of person and party shoes. You've definitely already heard the spiel, you just need some good looking sturdy party shoes that you're okay with getting dirty. Some people might be able to use like their $100 Air Force Ones, but I recommend just getting like a cheap, like cheap as shit shoes from um, Walmart or something, maybe like 13 bucks, plain white shoes that maybe they're made of like faux leather so you can wipe them off. Um, or some chunky cute black boots for the winter. I think that'd be super cute both for guys and girls. You just have to be okay with it getting dirty on some gross basement floor because even if you think you're not gonna go to parties, you're gonna go to parties. It's just a college experience. And additionally, you don't need to have all of these shoes every season. Obviously, when it's winter, you're not gonna be wearing your flip-flops or burks outside, so you can just leave them at home during Thanksgiving and pick them back up when you have a, um, when you go back home for spring. Unless we never, <laughs> except we never went back because of Corona, but that's fine. Okay, we all know that college kids are disgusting, so if you want your room to smell super fresh all the time, you need to get like a room spray from Bath & Body Works slash Febreze, um, and one of those wall scented like plugs that you plug into the wall and then it like releases a ton of like little, <sighs> I apparently just can't talk, but um, you know exactly what I mean. I wouldn't recommend candles cause they're really not allowed, you know, in case they burn down the entire building or something like that. <laughs> uh, but if you can sneak a candle and you can keep an eye on it, go for it. But for legal reasons, I'm not recommending that. Um, the, like when your room smells nice, it makes the entire hallway smell nice and everyone will wanna hang out in your room, I guarantee it. Speaking of hanging out in your room, it's a great way to make friends with people on your floor or just people in general. And if people want to be in your room, they're probably going to need somewhere to sit. The boring but dependable answer is obviously a futon because then they can even like stay overnight if they need to. But my room had this giant like Ugg beanbag chair and a carpet and it was honestly like the best seating arrangement I could have asked for. So. Keep that in mind, maybe, if you like it. Now I know you know, or at least I think you know, that you need to bring shower shoes and a shower caddy. But make sure that both of them don't grow mold. That is so gross and unhealthy. Uh, the best shower shoes, in my opinion, are the kinds that have like little drainage holes at the bottom and they look like Nike slides. They're super comfortable and they won't like fly off your feet or break. And they might cost an extra few dollars, but I thought it was totally worth it when you're gonna use it for the entire year. And I'm telling you, don't get a plastic caddy. Like, I know some of you might prefer that, but a mesh caddy that can hang on, like, uh, one of those curtain rods is honestly the way to go. I was, like, I'm kind of a germaphobe, and so the thought of putting my shower caddy on the ground just kind of skeeved me out. Uh, so I got one of those mesh shower caddies that could hang on like a towel hook or the, like I said the curtain rod and it never grew mold, it never touched the floor, and you can always hang it up to dry once you come back from your shower. And <laughs> now on to like your sleeping arrangement, invest in the squishiest gel mattress topper you can find, like 3 plus inches. I guarantee that it will make your bed feel like a cloud. Make sure it's like the ventilated or like gel cooling type because especially in uh, college dorms that don't have ACs, you're gonna end up overheating and waking up in a gross pool of your own sweat. And if you don't want that, do what I said and get a ventilated or a gel cooler cooled one. Uh, but I can't stress enough how good this made my sleep. Like I don't think I've ever slept so good in my life, but rip 8 a.m.s. It just be like that, I guess. Traveling efficient is super essential when you have to lug a bag of textbooks across campus in 10 minutes because you overslept on your squishy mattress. Haha, -ha. linked it together. Um, that's obviously never happened to me before. My camera just turned off and I totally lost track of where I was. Uh, anyways, I highly recommend these two things. A sturdy stick-on phone wallet and a carabiner clip for your keys. If you, if you have any keys, some people don't have keys, but um, I preferred a multi-pocket phone case because it could hold like my regular debit card, it could hold my um, school whisk card, like the thing that I use for my dining hall plan stuff, 
and of course my driver's license for your ID. It's nice because it's like all your essentials in a super easy accessible place and for girls you don't have to carry like a purse or like a wallet with you. Guys, this, I mean it's basically the same thing but I guess you're more used to carrying wallets so it's up to your preference but I love phone wallets. Uh, I actually bought a new one because I got a new case, but okay, y'all don't care about that. So moving on, uh, the carabiner, as long as it's hidden, like if you can clip it on your pants or put it in your coat pocket during the winter so you don't look like that freshman, uh, it's super useful because your keys are always secured and it's you're way less likely to lose them. And trust me, you don't want to lose them. It's like $50, or at least it is at my college if you lose your keys, and that's $50 you could spend literally anywhere else. Alright, so obviously you know that dorm rooms are typically really tiny and if yours isn't, uh, congrats, I'm super jealous. But uh, my room was pretty small, honestly. It was like the size of a walk-in closet and of course you have to share it with one person or three if you have a suite. And in order to maximize your room space, you gotta employ like a few hacks. Uh, one of them being you can buy these curtain, like these hangers that kind of like fold downwards and so when you clip them up they'll look like a set of four to five different hooks that you can put your clothes on but when you unhook it it'll like hang down and maximize your closet space additionally i really enjoyed having one of those foldable underwear organizers i know it makes me kind of a neat freak but i had like a little set of uh, rolled up socks in one of them. In the other one I had all of my underwear rolled up and then in the third one I had like a row of bras and swimsuits and things and that was so helpful. It was kind of a pain when I folded my clothes to put inside but I much preferred that than uh, having to fold it up or like just kind of tossing it in a pile. Um, this is all over the place so I'm gonna go back kind of to bedding and tell you about satin pillowcases. So this is a great hack if you have super frizzy hair or hair that you don't really want to mess up because it'll keep your hair, I don't know, shiny or I noticed that it doesn't have to be washed as often, it's less frizzy, it's not, I don't know, it's gross looking. So invest in like a set of two of them. You're not gonna need that many because you can wash your stuff like every few weeks, uh, which you should in order to keep it from getting super crusty and disgusting. The next and last thing for this video will be a mini overnight bag. Now this could be like a tiny little backpack or it could be like I have this um, Adidas bag, kind of like one of these drawstring bags or like a mini backpack. Um, but this will be basically where you can keep all your overnight stuff when you need to stay at a friend's house. Inevitably it always happens or you're going to like a club sport or something. So this is my overnight bag and uh, my ultimate frisbee bag. So, like, they're super useful because you don't want to have to carry your suitcase anywhere. I'd hope not. And your backpack is going to be filled with all of your school stuff, so you don't want to empty that and refill it when you need to. Uh, for the overnight bag, you can just toss everything in and go, and it'll be perfect. So that is it for this video. Uh, let me know if these were actually useful tips for you. I thought I thought I tried to think super hard of what I really liked having while I was living in a dorm. Uh, this year I'll be living in an apartment so I'll do like an apartment haul if you guys care or anything. I'm not sure many people do but it could be fun. Um, I will be doing a video on what not to bring, of course, maybe a part two of what to bring if I can figure out more things, and of course kind of like a college school supply stuff, because I've never really seen anyone do that, and I thought that it would be super helpful because I wanted one of those videos when I was a freshman. As always, I hope you're having an amazing day, and if you're not, I'm sending the most impeccable vibes your way. See you next time.